Hi guys, very good morning to you. Uh, welcome to video number uh, 155 and uh, in this video uh, I'm going to answer uh, uh, to a question which I have received uh, time and again from a lot of subscribers that uh, is there any way to increase the month by some specific number, right? For example, if I insert this date and uh, I want that uh, now you see uh, this uh, date is uh, 5th of January 2016 and that's the you know the date and the time is 9:48 a.m. when I'm recording this video uh, so you guys have asked me uh, different uh, you know I have received several emails actually I think six seven emails uh, in um, around 14-15 uh, days uh, last 14-15 days and uh, so uh, is there any formula or is there any step that uh, if we drag this down then uh, we should have here a second of uh, 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 5th of February and then here uh, 5th of March and then 5th of April and so on and uh, uh, also uh, if we want to skip one month so that uh, the next uh, the date and the month uh, is going to be 5th of March and here uh, instead of April uh, it should be 5th of May and so on right so there are a number of ways uh, we can use the date formula as well but uh, I'm not going to tell you uh, this uh, date technique uh, that I will discuss in my next uh, video uh, but there's a very uh, good way of doing it uh, what you can do is uh, it's a very actually simple as well you don't have to learn any formula for that uh, so let's say if you now this um, in my machine the time the format is this please remember no take a note of it this is my format so first is my month which is January and I wish you a very very happy new year guys as well and uh, this is my uh, 5th of uh, January 5th is the date and 2016 is the current year right uh, so how you can do it uh, let me show you so first you need to select the, uh, the date which you are using uh, and then s select it uh, till uh, wherever you actually want to go right uh, according to the values now I think uh, we have just as as you know uh, 12 months so maybe this is not required we can uh, simply keep our range to this 14 of uh, row number 14 only right so once you've selected that uh, what you need to do is uh, I'm using 2010 but I think um, I'm very much sure that uh, this option is uh, uh, available uh, in this home tab uh, in 2007 as well and uh, you'll see the same option in 2013 as well right okay so uh, however I'm not sure uh, if you will see this option under home tab or not but the option is there that's pretty much I'm very you know I'm pretty much sure about that so go to the home tab guys and uh, look at this option on the extreme right fill okay now click on this drop down this uh, down arrow not a drop down but the drop down would actually appear one, when once you uh, click on this down arrow and uh, you need to click on the series and this pop-up will come now what you need to do is you need to click on the date right by default you may have this on all right anything I mean but you have to click on the growth part uh, sorry uh, date part right now if you're interested in getting the months then you have to click on the months right now this is a step value called one which means that the next month uh, the difference between the next month and the previous month which means this uh, 5th of January January uh, the difference has to be one so it means it will increment by one so you'll, you'll see here 5th of Feb and 5th of March and then April and you know every month so just click OK and there you go you can see here because of the extra range uh, 2017 has also come right so we don't need that uh, we can delete it so this is how your months are changing it's very simple right so you can do this uh, or if, if you're looking for the one jump one skip then maybe you can do this thing again go to the home tab and uh, in the fill go to the series and in this uh, date then you can write here too in the step value right and keep your uh, month as it is now let's see what will happen just click OK alright so <clears throat> you can see here 
now we don't have any february uh, it's just directly uh, 5th of march and then 5th of may and then july and you know so on so this is a very good technique right uh, because uh, you know actually uh, for those uh, who, who who must be thinking at this point in time then why i'm not adding simply one to it actually the problem is when you add one to it you will get the increment in the date not in the month right so uh, if you want uh, this uh, 5th of january to be 6th of january 7th of january 8th of january 9th of january 10th of january and so on this that's quite easy you just need to add plus one to it right e2 plus one and then copy it and paste it so when it comes to the date handling it is very easy you really don't have to do it uh, using the fill series right however the option uh, in the fill series is also available and i'll tell you for example if you want to increment the date then under the series you have this day option as well so if you say step one or maybe you say let's say step two this will give you the alternate date date right and uh, i'm sure now you might have guessed uh, the rest of the options as well like uh, we have the option called year so year option is actually your to increment the years so let's say i'm going to increment the years by three so you can see here after 2016 i see 2019 22 25 28 31 and so on right okay so now let's try on the another option uh, which is the weekday i believe i never used that option but uh, i just actually saw it so let's see what is it a uh, weekday i think it is going to skip the saturday and sunday weekend maybe all right let's let's try to do that let's press okay all right so here we have 5th of january and today is i guess tuesday right let me check my machine first yeah it's tuesday right so here you have tuesday here you have wednesday and then thursday and then friday and yes 9th january and 10th of january are saturday and sunday so they are not showing up so that's a wonderful option right isn't it i think it's a, it's a great option right so we did i think everything we the uh, we learned how to increment the day we learned how to increment the weekdays as well very important we learned how to increment the year and we le also learned how to increment the months right awesome right okay so uh that's it for now guys and uh yesterday uh uh, day before yesterday i uploaded two videos video number 153 and uh, i guess uh video number 154 right uh you can watch those videos they are amazing videos uh um, i actually uh got some um uh, messages uh you know on my videos uh from my subscribers and uh, uh they asked a couple of things uh and you know and uh, then i uh, actually uh, sorted those things and uploaded the video on the same so it may help you a lot in your official work right all right so i'll come up uh, again with the, some interesting stuff till then stay fit and very happy learning and do subscribe to my channel uh, this is the video number 155 thank you so much bye bye